G. No, oh, that's it. Very good. Give me five. He saved my daughter and my niece's lives. And then if you ever need me, all you got to do is ask for me, right? There you go, and that's the perfect number to have too, isn't it? In the town of South Hill, <gasps> oh, oh yeah, there's a police officer. You like Mickey Mouse? Guess who mine is? Moana. Who's making a name for himself. <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? Like that, ah! Oh. Though it's not through his singing. He just gets a swarm of kids. And we got to pick pumpkins. You got to pick pumpkins? It's through his interaction with children in the community. It's just amazing the bond that he has with the children, especially around here. On Valentine's Day, Aisha Roper Boswell caught Corporal Fleming on camera playing. It was a set of boys that were, that were coloring and there was a set of girls that were playing with uh, some dolls and their accessories. After spending a few minutes with each group, Fleming leaves. Aisha uploads a short video online that goes viral, but it's the plane that's paying off. My daughter, my niece, and some of the other children here were afraid of cops. But after this, it's very important to see the connection he has, especially with these group of kids that I see every day. They need someone who they can feel is a superhero, and we locally call him the South Hill Batman. Start. <gasps> That's my Batmobile. Like the caped crusader, my job is, is here to protect and serve. Officer Fleming believes for me to be a catalyst to young people, regardless of of race, color, creed, religion, uh, I feel like I can be a positive change. Whether that's catching the bad guys or doing a cartwheel. Remember, I'm always here, not just for the bad stuff, but for the good stuff, right? It took less than one minute for me to see the impact Corporal Fleming has had at the apartment complex when I watched him being swarmed by children once he got out of his car. As for his unique way of talking with kids, He's the proud father of four, and he and his wife have also fostered two children as well. Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.